Welcome to another edition of ICANN Media. I'm your host, Rob Hislop. We're coming to you once again from the Global Petroleum Show in Calgary. Joining us right now, Mr. Jim Newsom, and you're with Dragon. Yes, sir. Dragon so, Products in uh, Beaumont, Texas. So tell us what Dragon does. Dragon Products uh, has always been a company that has uh, manufactured tanks and storage for the oil field and the waste industry. Uh, they've been around since the 80s and uh, have been adapting and changing uh, their products to uh, accommodate you know, the new technologies and, and the new uh, needs for oil and waste. So, I met you, so you started out in Texas then? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, I started in uh, Beaumont, Texas. Uh, the company started out making uh, roll-off trailers for uh, trash bins, and that's where the Dragon name came from. It was called Drag-On Manufacturing because that's how you get a trash box onto a roll-off trailer. But then we started making uh, containers, uh, frack uh, water storage containers and uh, offshore uh, cutting boxes. And the drag-on didn't make any sense, so we just took the hyphen out and made it Dragon Products. So you started off in Texas, you're up in the oil sands now, I imagine? You've got some of your products up there? Yes, uh, we have got an establishment up here in, in Red Deer, right outside of Calgary. Uh, we're providing uh, crude haulers and uh, pump equipment for the oil field. Uh, we have a 38 million BTU water heater unit that we've developed so you guys can keep the water flowing. Uh, we've got insulated uh, frack tanks so uh, you can haul the water and keep it flowing. So s some different modifications that you have to make compared to what you'd be using in Texas then? Yes, if uh, the example of the trailers that you see here at this show are, are set up for Canadian uh, specifications. Most of our trailers are double axle units, but for up here, uh, it's triple axles are required. Plus uh, some of the uh, plumbing, uh, some of the uh, hardware. Uh, the suspensions are a little heavier duty because uh, your roads here are a little rougher. Mm -hmm. We're not just talking the city roads here. No, 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 we're talking about oil field. Yeah. Uh, we also develop uh, a synthetic rig mat that you guys can use up here that's uh, not wood, uh, that actually uh, stabilizes uh, muddy roads a whole lot better. And the, uh, the, they're completely non-absorbent. So when you get done with a project, uh, they just wash off and then they're environmentally friendly. Uh, Which is obviously key in today's climate. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, we, we try to stay aware of, you know, of the environmental issues and uh, make sure that we're producing a product that's uh, you know, user-friendly and also uh, eco-friendly. So obviously our climate does present some challenges then for, for equipment companies. It's a little different than it is down there in Texas. I think right now, the last time I called, is 98 degrees and with our humidity it makes it feel like 105. Mm -hmm. you know, and I think uh, it got down to a bone-chilling um, uh, 28 this year. So that'd be like about minus two for us. <laughs> yeah. 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 So which is a balmy winter yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. You guys, you know, you want to go swimming on a day yeah. like that. So do you visit much in the winter? Um, we don't get any further than our uh, Williston, North Dakota base <laughs> in the winter time. Yeah. But, yeah. but uh, yeah, we're we're in and out all the time, and 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 we're we're great fans of Canada. I mean, we love Calgary and all of our uh, facilities up here. We have Canadian employees. Mm -hmm. uh, you say that you keep track of the environmental trends. Do you also keep track of the political trends up here because our government has changed for the first time in more than four decades? Well, uh, my brother introduced me as a guy that uh, never knew a stranger. <laughs> so we try to be very friendly and very accommodating. Uh, I, I think the, the term we use is be the better man. So uh, whatever political things are going on, you know, we, we try to be very accommodating and, 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 and work with the people. Thank you very much for your time. Oh, yeah. Well, you're welcome. Glad to be here.